The Temple Tough Trivia Question is brought to you by Kelly Sports. Hi, I'm Justin Gilday. I play safety, and this is the trivia question for the week. Throws long. Down toward the goal line. It's going to be intercepted by Justin Gilday. What was the first year Temple played Penn State? When you combine a whole new look with over 40 years of experience, what do you get? Glansman Subaru in Jenkintown. Now that we're totally remodeled, we're going even further to exceed your expectations. And with our no-pressure sales staff, free loaner cars, and extended service hours, every trip to Glansman Subaru is made easy and convenient. So no matter what time the game is over, check us out at GetSubaru.com. Buy smart, drive safe at Glansman Subaru, Route 611, Jenkintown. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. What's better than a pre-owned Toyota? A certified pre-owned Toyota. And at Team Toyota, you won't have any trouble spotting the difference. Browse our inventory of over 200 certified vehicles. Get financing as low as 2.9% for 60 months, a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty, our three-day, 300-mile money-back guarantee, two years of complimentary maintenance, and more. At Team Toyota, you'll never get used, but you will get a great certified pre-owned. Stop in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. And the answer is 1931, when Temple beat Penn State 12 to nothing. The Temple Tough Trivia Question has been brought to you by Kelly Sports. It's five days until Temple's game against Akron. And while the team is in control of its own preparation, the players are practicing in something they can't control. Football team battles through the elements. And to win the first Mid-American Conference game of the season, there can be no excuses. Their back's against the wall. They have nothing, nothing to lose right now, you know. They're coming at every team with everything they have. You know, they played Ohio State, which is a very good team, you know, big conference team. Now we're coming into, you know, conference play. And conference play is the most important play, you know, to get to that match championship. When you look at the tape, they have talent on both sides of the ball. They play hard on defense. They have the ability to make plays on offense. They're at home, and they're going to come out you know, with their back up against the wall. And my experience is those teams come out in week two, and they play really, really well and really hard. I think that's the culture of where they're at, you know, Northeast Ohio. You know, those kids up there, a lot of them are from around there, Ohio guys. They're just tough-nosed, hard guys. So we've got to respond to that and not, you know, absorb blows and take anything. We've got to deliver that back to them. A couple years ago, we were in the same position they were where they had a couple down seasons, but that's when you're most dangerous. Now that they're back in their MAC conference, they're going to want to, you know, really attack and get back on track for their season. So they're going to come out swinging and we just got to be ready and really prepare this week. It's never easy playing a game on the road, but a Steve Adazio coached football team always takes three things with them on the trip. Well, you know, you talk about going on the road. Pack uh, your defense. We gotta bring our run game. And you gotta pack your senior leadership. That's what it takes. Any, any time in college sports, pro sports, that you go on the road, it's, uh, it's an advantage for the home team. It's, it's their home turf. 
I mean, they're going to have the momentum at the beginning of the game, so you got to be able to tr try and stop them on that first drive to try and, you know, shut down that momentum. At the end of the day, uh, football itself, regardless of where it's played, is the same. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, developing a, a comfort level of, of being outside of your element and understanding that no matter what the job entails, uh, you know, just, just stay on task. When you get in that stadium, you have, you have to think of it as if it's your stadium. You know, you're playing at your field, no matter where you are, if it's grass, if it's turf, you've been there, done that, you know, that's what football is. When the curtain comes down on Temple's game against Akron, the concerns about playing on the road won't matter. All that matters is the win or the loss. The team has arrived at Infocision Stadium. And for Bernard Pierce and Matt Brown, they are looking to build on their week one performance in which they rushed for a combined 183 yards. Here inside Info Season Stadium, the home of the Akron Zips, campus of the University of Akron. Welcome everybody to a big night of Mac East Division football as Temple's Owls come in and try to grab a road win against the home standing Zips of Akron. 604 left in the opening quarter. You see uh, both football teams uh, heading to their uh, their locker rooms with lightning in the area. ready to play football again after better than an hour delay for uh, lightning in the the Akron and Northeast Ohio area. Girardi to put it up and a fire end zone. Joe Jones got it. Touchdown. Temple's out. Girardi is on fire. Moore wants to put it up. Look out. He got thrilled from the backside by Tawir Whitehead. Bernard Pierce will slash his way to the goal line in the end zone. And stay on the ground. Jawan Chisholm tried to get to the edge. He got popped. Akeem Smith on that misdirection. And look at Bernard Pierce. And he is busting free at the backside. See you later. Touchdown. Look how that backside hit Adrian Robinson. Clayton Moore with that pocket collapsing. And he is swallowed up by a group that wear cherry and white. You can book this one to Steve Adazio and the Temple Owls, a 41-3 final. I thought the coordinators, Chuck Heater and, and Scott Luffley, did a great job in both these games in terms of just managing the games and, you know, realizing, like, you know, we don't need to, you know, it's not about stats right now, even though our stats are good. It's just about winning the game. Let's win the game. Establish a run. Let's win the game. Let's play aggressive defense. And let's get let's get out of here with a W. Now starting our BW of Langhorn, the all new 2012 Passat. Be the first to test drive the all-new mid-size 2012 Passat at VW of Langhorn. The most class in its class with dual zone auto climate control and Bluetooth standard. The power of German engineering and up to 43 miles to the gallon. VW of Langhorn on Business Route 1. Go a few extra yards and save a lot. Let's go Temple Owls football fans to McFadden's Ballpark before, during, and after every Temple Owls football home game. Catch every pass, run, and hit on any one of McFadden's 33 high division TVs and two giant projectors. It's the best place to cheer the Owls on this football season, and they're located right across from Lincoln Financial Field. Book your next private Temple Owls football party today at McFadden'sBallpark.com. Take an Owls outing with Temple Owls football at McFadden's Ballpark, your Temple Tough destination. Run, don't walk to Kelly Sports for your back to school needs. Opening day is about to kick off and our selection is a big hit. Our prices are too good to pass up. So get to Kelly Sports and score big. We have all the latest styles from Nike, Adidas and Under Armour. And we also carry Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts uniforms as well as a large selection of athletic footwear. 
Kelly Sports, located at Route 202 and Matlack Street in Westchester. Hi, I'm Mayor Mike Nutter, and you're watching Temple Tough. You know, present this game ball to you. First win out of the That's a great start to the season. It's a physical brand of football. I'm proud of you. Because that's the statement we wanted to make more than anything else. It's been four years since legendary head coach Joe Paterno brought his Penn State Nittany Lions to Philadelphia to play the Owls. Since that 2007 game, the gap between the two teams has been rapidly closing, and the games have gotten closer and closer. Last year, Temple took a 13-9 lead into the halftime locker room in Happy Valley on the shoulders of two Bernard Pierce rushing touchdowns. But Pierce left the game on the first drive in the third quarter with an ankle injury and Penn State shut down Temple's offense en route to a 22-13 win. It's going to be huge. Uh, obviously, both PA teams, and it's close to home, so there's going to be a lot of Penn State fans, there's going to be a lot of Temple fans. It's going to be a big game. It's Penn State, and uh, any time that you have a Big Ten team, the rich tradition that they have, uh, our guys are going to be excited to go out there and compete against uh, one of the best programs in America. Uh, you're at a great venue at the link. Um, you know, I know in the past couple of years it's been really close with these guys, so our guys are going to be hungry. You know, it's kind of, these guys, you kind of got a chip on your shoulder. And you're playing at home, in front of your home crowd. We had a great home crowd for the Villanova game. I expect nothing less from, you know, the Temple fans. It'll be a major college atmosphere. It'll be a sold-out stadium, and the link will be rocking. It's two schools within the same state playing each other. You know, they, they call Temple, Pitt, and Penn State the big three. Well, two of the big three are going to play each other. And a lot of people have a lot of long-time interest in, in, in both programs. And uh, so, therefore, that always sparks great energy and great enthusiasm in the game. This year, it's a different atmosphere. A Temple home game. A Penn State rivalry. Lincoln Financial Field will be electric. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. Get it loud. Coming close. Footsteps don't lie. So the question is, do you hear footsteps? Or are they hearing yours? Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. Temple Tough, behind the scenes with Temple Football, has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. On the next episode of Temple Tough, behind the scenes with Temple Football, it's a showdown with the Nittany Lions for Pennsylvania football supremacy.